Hello, my name is Lorenzo. It's a very nice day today here in Switzerland and I'm here to show you how you can use the same uh, users that you use in Teams in Teams metrics or Qmetrics as well. The big advantage here is that you manage only one set of passwords and that is managed on the Teams level. So uh, when people change the password, uh, it's already changed in all of the application. I guess that you're already using something like this uh, along your organization in general so you just want to extend this to Teams metrics as well. So let's see how we can get started. First, you need to access your Azure portal. We need to register an app that will be used as the basis of authentication. Click on App Registration. Okay, we create a new app here, new registration. We should call it something that uh, reminds us of the reason why we're doing this. So let's uh, call it uh, Teams Metrics Logins, for example. So we remember why it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, designed. We set it as multi-tenant, and uh, very important. This this is the redirect URI that is uh, the one that you need to 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 set. This, is, uh, uh, this depends on the, the URL of your existing Teams system. So let's say that for the one that we are using today, it will be called uh, SSO Teams. So we created this URL and paste it here. If that shouldn't be correct, so basically it's the same thing as uh, the, the main um, URL plus qm underscore SSO return dot do. Anyway, in case you should get it wrong, the error message that you get is uh, I don't know what this, uh, this is, so it's, uh, it will be easy to correct. Click on register. Okay, now we created an application. There are two things that we need to take from here immediately. One is the client ID, that this is the application client ID that I copy here and I put in a side. Then the, 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 the tenant ID, that is the one here, that I copy as well, and put aside. And then we have to create a password. So to create a password, we go to um, Overview, to Manager to certificates uh, and secrets. So we want a new client secret. We call it um, uh, password. I, I suggest to put in a date because it lasts just for a while. So let's say password expires September 25, 25th, um, 2025. I put it for one year. So it will, you will have to change after this, so it's important that you do not make it too short. And we copy it from here. Very important, uh, when you copy this value, this value can only, will only be shown once, but in case you um, were to lose it, you can just delete it and create a new one, So because you can have multiple ones. Then we go to authentication here, and uh, we check the, the redirect URI, that in case it should be wrong. We can always create it from here. We can add more customizations, but what important is that you click two boxes here, access tokens and ID tokens. So save. And this should be it. So it's not so much that we have to do. Now we go to our Teams metrics instance. We go here, so to the system parameters go to the bottom, we take the parameters that were on the user manual, so you can just copy them. These parameters are quite easy and we change them putting the, the, the tenant ID that we copied, that is here, the application ID that we copied that is here and the password that is here. So we save this, okay, and then we have to do another thing. What we want to do now is to make sure that uh, our uh, administrator, the basic user that I have, can log in using Teams. So I go back, I go here to my user, I open up my user, I find it by see that the, the email is set. 
I have to edit it and do two things. First, make sure that uh, the email is the correct email that I'm expecting out of Teams. If this is not correct, Qmetrics, Teams metrics won't understand which user it is. The second thing we want is to make sure that the class is correct. In this case, it's admin and this is fine. And then make sure that it's enabled, it's already enabled. Here, in token, I type Microsoft dot star. This means this user can log in using Microsoft SSO. Okay, save this, log off. Let's see, you can see that uh, at this point uh, we have a new box here, sign in with Microsoft. I click here, it's going to ask me information about who I am, basically. Let's hope that I did the, the, the procedure right in terms of uh, the, the URL I have to enter, the password. Okay, now wait a second that I have to do the authentication on the phone. Okay, I have to approve. Okay. You can see that we got the, the uh, a wizard that basically says uh, enter consent because I never did so. Accept. And boom, I'm logged in. I'm as an administrator. So it worked. Uh, to, to know if a user logged in using this way or some other way, you just can, can just go to the system administration, to the audit logs, where you can see that my user had consent granted and then logged in as demo admin by entering the password. So this is basically all you have to do. The other thing you may want to do next is to make sure that you are not the only person logging in using this way, but making sure that also um, other people in the organization, or so maybe everybody in the organization is able to log in um, following this, uh, this approach. Um, to make this is again very easy. Most likely you're going to go, you are going to go here. So you go to the configuration, users. So maybe you already have a user here. So typically, if you import the users, when you import, we import all the users from your tenant, they are created as agents. You don't care about this now. What you do is, uh, so they are going to have, uh, be called the agent slash uh, a number or a name and the real name. Just go look at the real name. Make sure that you do two things here. So first uh, is to enter their, their correct uh, email. So John Do at uh, org. Okay. Then select the class. In your case, if you want to access reports, you're going to use uh, to set them as users that, uh, or uh, admins, depends on what you want to do. Make sure the user is enabled because usually they are not and enter as token, you enter microsoft.star. Okay, when, you, when this person, you save this, at this point, when uh, this person logs off, uh, when the, the, the person clicks on uh, login using Microsoft, you can uh, um, still uh, have uh, them uh, access uh, the system uh, using their SSO. Notice that you don't need to have a password set for the users you just created, because uh, you can see you have no way of knowing the password. The password is typically random when the user is created, uh, imported initially. If you set the password, users retain the ability to log in either using uh, Microsoft SSO or using uh, the password you set. You, you may want or not want this. Uh, what we suggest is in any case to have a way to, 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 to have a, a, a password that is set for the admin that you have so that it is always possible to log in even if SSO for some reason was not working. So that's uh, basically it. It was not really complex. It, took more time to, to find basically how to, 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 to set uh, the phone uh, and do the SSO on the phone than everything else. So I hope you will enjoy it and I'm sure this will be useful for, uh, for you to using in Teams metrics. So thank you and uh, have a nice day. Bye.